Hi everyone, I'm Amy. I'm one of Abuto's primary trainers, and we're here to give you a little bit of an update. I'm joined by one of our other lion trainers, Kayla, and she's been helping me work on some training that will help to keep Abuto nice and healthy. So as many of you know, Abuto was diagnosed with early stage kidney disease um, about four or five years ago. Since that time, we've been working with him to get him used to some different voluntary procedures that will help us take really good care of him and keep him nice and hydrated. One of the things that we're really trying to do is keep Abuto full of fluids in one way, shape, or form or another, um, and that will help his kidneys out a lot. So hopefully he can continue to have a nice, happy, healthy life for a lot longer. One of the ways that we're doing that is by training him for voluntary subcutaneous fluids. So subcutaneous just means that it goes right underneath of their skin. So if you picture a little tent in their skin, if you pull their skin just a little bit, the needle will go right in there and then we're able to administer fluids that way. So our vet staff has worked with us to figure out a nice, safe and easy way to get fluids into him and this is one of the ways. So we'll put the needle right into his hip and you can see it's totally up to Abuto if he wants to participate or not. He goes right into this crate area but he always has the choice to leave. So if he doesn't want to be here, he's more than um, welcome to just walk right out. It's not a problem at all. We have it set up so that the needle angle makes it safe for him to walk away if he wants to walk away. But as you can tell, he loves training and he loves working with his keepers and um, he's more than happy to come in. We ask him to give us his hip. He puts his hip right up against the mesh and then we ask him to hold still for the needle poke. So we'll give him the key poke and once he gets that poke, if he stays nice and still, he gets some of his most favorite treats and then we're able to get the fluid into him. Um, right now, he does not need these fluids, um, but we're, tra we're training him for someday when he might. So we're gonna keep him used to this schedule of seeing the veterinary team coming down here and getting lots of really good treats and practicing this behavior so that if slash when he gets to the point that he does need this procedure, he's already trained for it and we don't have to try to train him when he's not feeling well. So as Amy was saying, we tried to come up with a variety of ways to administer fluids to a buto. And one of the things that our vet team suggested to us was to pour some water into his actual diet. While that worked, it gave us this slushy meat diet for a buto, um, which can be a little hard for us to administer to him. Um, so we thought of different ways that we could get a buto more fluids by giving him the choice to go get them himself. So what we tried to do was to shape um, a buto going to a drinker and drinking a bunch of water and then getting a bunch of treats for doing this. And we were successful. So a buto has also learned how to go to a drinker and drink a bunch of water um, until we say the word good, um, telling him he did a good job and to come back and get some treats for it. And so after that, we also decided to train all of our other lions to do this behavior as well. Um, our cubs are still pretty young, they're only five and a half years old, um, but we'd like to give them this prerequisite behavior so if they grow up and have any kidney issues as well, they'll already be trained to go and get water themselves. We know you guys care about Abuto just as much as we do. He's just a big ham and we love him to death. So we're trying to do everything that we can possibly do and everything we can possibly think of, and including Kayla's really cool idea to get him to drink on cue um, to keep him nice and healthy. We'll keep you guys posted on how he's doing. Um, we love to talk about him, so definitely keep asking us questions when you're here visiting us at the zoo. Um, if not, uh, we will hopefully see you again sometime soon. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to our big man Buto story.